What's up everyone, this video is going to go over True Boy's 10 game run in the Ultimate League along with his two playoff performances that have vaulted him into the final four of the Madden Bowl tournament. Now, during the regular season, True Boy compiled a record of 5-5 five five, while averaging 17.9 points per game, which was good for 6th in the Legends Conference and 13th overall, while also only allowing 16.9 points per game, being good for 3rd in the Legends Conference and 5th overall. Now, throughout this run, he alternated between three offensive playbooks in the Philadelphia Eagles, Arizona Cardinals, and run-heavy schemes. Defensively, he primarily stuck with the New England Patriots playbook, but he did change to a 4-3 dominant scheme in his one game against Tweez, where he ran a book that contained the 4-6 bear under formation. Taking a look at his offensive stats, he ultimately ran 177 plays that we could see on stream, with an amazingly high 72 of them being unique. In fact, out of 177 play calls, there were only three that he ended up calling a double digit number of times. These plays were the halfback stretches from the single back wing flex, single back wing tight Z, and single back wide trips formations. He averaged an amazing 8.41 yards per play from the single back wing flex version, lending a good reason as to why it was his most called play on stream. Here you can see a list of every play that True Boy ran on stream throughout the season, though if you want to read each one you will likely need to pause the video as the list is pretty massive. All of this culminated in him going 60 for 83 for 909 yards, 5 touchdowns, 2 interceptions, with a 118 passer rating through the air. He also put in major work on the ground, rushing the ball 133 times for 580 yards and 7 touchdowns while averaging 4.36 yards per carry. He ultimately ended up with 1,384 total yards to go with a 7.82 yards per play average. After factoring in QB scrambles, Trueboy ended up rushing the ball on 75.14% of his offensive plays, easily resulting in one of the highest percentages in the entire league. A popular defense that was used against him throughout the regular season was a 3-4 odd cover 2 sync approach but he definitely seemed to be prepared as he was able to carve it up by going 20 for 29 for 339 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions, and accumulating a 142.74 passer rating against that particular look. Defensively, his most called play by a wide margin was the nickel 335 odd linebacker cross three show two from the New England Patriots playbook. This play resulted in just over 32% of his defensive play calls on stream, as he ended up allowing 7.12 yards per play when using this defense, while at the same time racking up a total of 5 sacks. Other defenses that he showed an affinity for included the 4-3 under Sam Blitz 2, 3-4 under OLB Strike 2, Nickel 335 odd cover 4 drop, 4-3 under Tampa 2, and 3-4 odd cover 4 Mike. He ended up calling 32 unique defensive plays on stream, making him one of the more diverse defensive play callers in the tournament. This resulted in him racking up 11 sacks, 3 interceptions, and allowing 4.71 yards per carry to go along with a stingy 16.9 points per game that we alluded to earlier. Once in the playoffs, Trueboy was able to defeat both Echo Fox Joke along with Luminosity's Problem to earn his spot in the Final Four. Throughout these two games, he chose to rock with the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook along with the New England Patriots defensive book. He actually ended up showing some massive offensive improvement, averaging 9.11 yards per play throughout these two matches. He was also able to step up huge defensively, tallying 8 sacks and 4 interceptions en route to beating two of the biggest names in Madden. Now let's take a look at this game ceiling play from his matchup against Problem. Trueboy comes out in a play that he had not run on stream at least, throughout the entire tournament. Wide drag from the gun wide trips weak formation. On defense, Problem opts to go for a nickel 335 Tampa 2 setup with some alterations. Seemingly expecting True Boy to attack the right sideline, rather than leaving the nickelback blitzing as he is in the stock coverage, Problem opts to drop him into what appears to be a hard flat zone. Now, to make up for the extra zone defender, Problem then decides to take his right side linebacker out of his vertical hook zone and blitz him, leaving a void on the right middle side of the field. True Boy happens to make the perfect offensive adjustment. With Problem leaving the entire right middle side of the field to himself, he sends his tight end on a slant route. At the snap of the ball, Problem must respect the inside slant as he is an immediate threat over the middle of the field. 
However, because Problem's user was pulled by the slant, along with the fact that the right side linebacker was blitzing now, this allowed True Boy's post route from the far right receiver to break into the void in the zone in which True was able to throw a safe low ball for the first down, sealing the game. This is the primary benefit of the way True Boy runs his offense. Due to the fact that he is under center in multi tight end sets and is running the ball so often, his opponent gets less looks at his passing concepts throughout the course of the game, resulting in less predictability for when True chooses to open up his offense. I hope you enjoyed this rundown on True Boy's journey throughout the Ultimate League. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you would like to see more content of this kind in the future, be sure to subscribe. Until next time guys, take it easy. Thank you.